Last week, we debuted our very first item of the month. And for this first month, it was the Water Jet Channel Limited Edition Titanium Bottle Opener Keychain Wrench thing. And while we were messing around with these, that got us thinking, is there an easier way to open up a bottle? Now you might be saying to yourself right now, Dan, are you stupid? It's easy to use a bottle opener. But what you haven't thought about is those that have arthritis or no hands at all. So today we are on a quest to find an easier way to open a bottle. I've got some ideas. We've picked up three different drinks, all with clear glass. That way we can see how much we are contaminating our drink because that's kind of important. It is important. First option, which is the easiest for our water jet, laying it sideways and just cutting the top off. bottom now the clarity of it there's a little bit of garnet on the bottom that's garnet and I'm sure because we basically sanded our way through the glass I'm sure there's bits of glass in there too safe to drink only one way to know it tastes like cream soda I think the sediments cream on the so bottom orange soda Tastes like orange creamsicles, what I meant. <laughs> because the sediment's on the bottom, I think it's safe to drink almost to the bottom. Because we are sanding our way through it, it does leave a pretty nice edge. It's not like a sharp, jagged edge, I think if you shattered it. But that's not good enough. So with our next one, maybe if we stand the bottle up and then try and, uh, try and do that. When we do the thing. Yeah, and we do the thing. That is as high as the nozzle goes. And sometimes when it's that close to the, the piece of work, it'll the water will take the path of least resistance and it'll actually shoot back up and then go up the abrasive hose up into here and then water will just like flood out there. So I hope that won't work or won't happen, but... I'm surprised it didn't shatter it more. It cracked it. So that was water. The cap did just kind of fall off. So it's a good way of getting the cap off. It's not a good way of keeping your drink in the bottle. So it's a bottle opener, but not a drink saver. <laughs> Next logical step will be turning the bottle on a 45 and then cutting the top off, thereby keeping- Turn the jet on a 45. Well, yeah, I, I can't visualize here it'll cut that off we'll keep most of our liquid in and the cap will come off and profit successful method yet <laughs> the bottle's empty caps not off oh it shattered it too shards of glass looks dirty in there yeah it doesn't uh, I think we need to abandon that method this was your idea Dan You're blaming me I always do are you tired of breaking your teeth while trying to open bottles Sick of heavy, bulky keychains that are impossible to fit in your pocket? Still looking for that 10 millimeter wrench? Solve all your problems with the new Waterjet Channel Limited Edition Kid Tested Mother Approved Astronaut Endorsed Ultra Lightweight Aerospace Grade Titanium Bottle Opener 10 millimeter wrench multi tool keychain. Or I like to call it the WC LEK TMAA EULA GT BOT MWMTK for short. 
Click on the link down in the description to get yours for just one easy payment of $19.95. But hurry, this amazing tool will only be available in the month of February. After that, we will never make it again. After much meditation, we have come up with this solution. That looks like two circles, Dan. It does, but you would be wrong. The goal is to center the home position on the water jet, dead center of that cap, and then chamfer just the top edge off of that cap. For those who don't know what chamfer means, what are you talking about? Chamfer is that 45 degree angle right there on the edge. We'd be doing that 45 degree angle right on that edge, just enough to free the cap and not contaminate the drink. Are you following? That sounds hard. Sounds so hard that I've actually made all of these files slightly changing the size of that chamfer so we can start at the lowest one there and slowly work our way up. Okay, we've removed some slats. We've got this tray in there and then we've got the bottle attached to this weight so we can set it down on that tray and it'll be kind of recessed down in the table. That'll give us plenty of room so that the head can move around the top up there. What did we learn? Uh, we need to hold the bottle much better. <laughs> the rocking rocked the bottle again. As soon as it turned on, that bottle is just like bouncing all over the place. Okay, we've got the new device figured out. It's on a more, much more sturdy shelf and it's zip tied to that main brace support there. It's got a lot less movement in it. We're homed. I feel good about this one. Fingers crossed. Looking at, up close at the bottle, it wasn't sandblasted on any edge. We need to go to probably two up. I don't want to go too far because we, we've already got it homed, so. <laughs> we've already gone too far. Uh, yeah, no, we'll do this one. I, I feel good about this one. So we've lightly grazed the front edge. The back edge is untouched. So it looks like our left to right is good. And so we need to adjust the home a little bit forward and then move up to the other file that goes in. Our proof of concept worked. If you look in the slow motion right on this front edge, it was like curling the cap up. So we were cutting the cap. I think the bottle is still moving just a little bit too much. And we went into the glass too quick on the backside and that's what shattered it out. Please work, please work. Cracked it. And the lid is still like really on there. So it was eroding <laughs> right there on the edge, pretty good. And then it went, it pushed it, right? I think, cause it wasn't quite centered, I don't think. It started over here and then it was getting too, too far in there and it pushed it once it got to this side. So it cut in the middle and then was doing weird stuff on its way up. Final attempt. If this doesn't work, then this is not a possible task. We've got a new bottle centered up and we've slowed it down so the entire thing will take 26 seconds. That way, if it catches the bottle, 
it should be going slow enough that it erodes the bottle and doesn't just knock it doesn't, over. Yeah, it doesn't tip it. Because that was the problem with the last one, is it hit the bottle and it was going so fast that it pushed it. That shouldn't happen. I'm thirsty and I really need this because I might <laughs> die of dehydration if we don't get this. It is now dark outside. We've been here for who knows how long. Too long. Through the log. That's where it came in on. It started cutting, I think it was slightly off center because it didn't quite cut all the way through, but that it will just peel right back, so. So an, armle an armless person could do that. They could have done that with their teeth. <laughs> Grape soda's not my favorite, but. It's pure, untainted. And I, can't, I can't tell if there's garnet because it's too dark. It's probably a good thing. 